What's going on everyone? In today's video, we're gonna do some live flip mine sourcing. So I'm gonna show you some of the filters that I've been using to pick up some great books on eBay to flip on Amazon. We're gonna see if we can find anything that's profitable. And by the way, if you like this kind of content, make sure you're checking out the live streams I have every Saturday morning at 6.30 a.m. PST because we do a whole bunch of other sourcing techniques as well, not just flip mine. But with that said, let's get right into the video. All right, so we're over here on flip mine. The first filter that we're gonna use is called my book search number one. Feel free to copy these exact same parameters if you want. So we're looking for used condition books with Amazon's price greater than $85 and it sells rank less than 2 million. I'm calculating a profit using this Amazon price, this automatic feature over the last 180 day moving average. And I'm also filtering sales rank by 180 day moving average. Now what's really cool is that you can actually change the columns here. So you can add different things that you want to see. You can move them, you know, click, move things around. Basically the way that I like to look at it is the way that it's set up right now. I like to look at the eBay and Amazon image right next to each other. I actually really do like it when I see an actual picture, not just a stock photo of an item. And then just the eBay and Amazon title and leave a link to each listing there. Then I look at the sales rank and then also the difference between the eBay price and the infer those offers. So really what we're looking for is a difference in price that's quite substantial. Like this is pretty substantial. What we have to then do is click through to see if this could potentially be a good deal. Okay, so this first book that comes up looks like a great deal because you can buy it for 30 plus $12 shipping. That's about $42. You come on over to Amazon, you notice that the lowest price on Amazon right now is $94. However, when you scroll down at the keep a chart, you realize that this book actually has been significantly cheaper than what you can buy it for on eBay eBay right now. So even the book is a little bit inflated and it has sold for you know over $70 here recently. In the past, it's been as low as 10, 15, maybe even 20 bucks. So I'm going to pass on this one. All right, scrolling down here a little bit and I see the successful project management book. Looks like the difference in price 60 and 138 is pretty significant. So let's go and open up both of those. This book is in fact 60 bucks on eBay. Over here on Amazon, looks like the lowest use price is right around 67 and the buy box is 98. When we scroll down on the keep a chart, this book actually has sold for some pretty good money. Like for a good majority of the time, it's over $80. Sometimes during the textbook season even up to 120 or even more. It looks like the price has gone down a little bit as the offer count starting to increase a little bit, but I don't think there's quite enough margin for us to pick up this book. But one tip is you can click this little eBay button here right above the Keep It chart, and that's going to go and paste the UPC in there into eBay. And then you can see if there's any other listings available. You can also come up here and sort by the uh, lowest offer as well. Looks like that was actually, in fact, the cheapest offer, but we're going to go and move on. Just not enough margin there. Now, one disclaimer here, the best deals are going to be the ones that pop up right now. You should be really looking at the listings that are, you know, less than 10 minutes old because those are going to be the best deals. Those are going to be the ones that go the fastest. So a little tip I have for you is download a Chrome extension called Easy Auto Refresh right here. Basically, what that allows you to do is refresh your page after a certain number of seconds. I have mine set to 60 seconds and I press start. Basically, I put this on a double monitor over here on the left. And what that means is as I'm just working throughout my normal day, flip mine is refreshing every minute. And if I happen to be at my desktop here, I can actually see if maybe there's a new deal that popped up and I can go ahead and pop on it. Hold down a little bit further. And this book is actually really interesting. The Soil Liquefaction book, you can see that $63 is the price on eBay. 141 is the inferred lowest FBA offer. I went ahead and opened this Keep a Graph, and this book actually has sold a few times for over 100 bucks in the past. Recently, it's actually started to undergo a little bit of a repricing where we're now, you know, went from basically $62 all the way down to 37. So if we expand the data on this book, this is a book that has actually sold multiple times for over 100 bucks. So it doesn't sell quite enough for me to get super excited to want to buy them here, but this is a great product to track. So what I'm going to say is if this book ever gets to $15, then uh, let me know. So I'm going to track it over the next 10 years. This book looks like it's super old. If we scroll all the way down to the product detail page, this came out in 2008. So this has been out for over a decade. And if it's still selling up until, you know, this year for over $100, then that's actually a good sign. So it looks like there's quite a few offers here competing for this lowest use price and, you know, Goodwill, uh, Super Book Sales, those are all mega booksellers that could definitely keep going down this repricing more and I'll definitely pick up multiple copies if it gets pretty cheap. And that leaves me with my second tangent, everyone. A lot of the books I buy on Amazon actually come from finding them through Flipmine. So don't just think Flipmine's used to buy books on eBay to flip on Amazon. A lot of times you can just start with a book that you found from Flipmine, takes you over to an Amazon page and then you can either track it or maybe even pick up some Amazon copies. I actually do that all the time. Another little tip for you here is this book here here, I can clearly see the little black bar at the top. And what that tells me is it's probably an instructor's edition. And you can actually see that, yeah, if we zoom in, this is actually an instructor review copy. It's not for sale. You can see that they paired it with the same ISBN as the student edition. You definitely don't want to buy that book and sell it on the student edition because you're probably going to get a return in the best case scenario. In the worst case scenario, you know, you're violating TOS and Amazon might get you in trouble. All right. So the page just refreshed and this business analytics loose leaf just popped up. Looks like we can pick this up for about 65 bucks here on eBay. I open the Amazon page. If we come down to the 
but keep a try. This actually looks really good. Amazon's price is quite high. It's well over hundred bucks and the use price generally is almost always over hundred bucks as well. It's been maybe a little bit less than that recently. Now there isn't enough margin on this book, but this is something that we could contact the seller and say, hey, would you do 30 bucks for this? Probably too much of a difference in price between, you know, what they want and what we want, but I do get tons of best offers accepted and also a ton of just, hey, would you do this amount of money? A lot of people end up actually settling with that because they're happy just to sell the item. All right, so scrolling down just a little bit beyond that, this forensic science book actually looks pretty interesting. Looks like we can pick it up for about 15 on eBay and the inferred lowest price about 99 on Amazon. So what I went ahead and did is look at this on eBay. One thing that you'll notice is that there's tons of writing in this book, which is not ideal at all. So we would definitely want to list it acceptable, but otherwise the, the book looks to be in good condition. When we head on over here to Amazon, we see that the lowest price is $59. So that's good. Now we just need to confirm, is that actually a price that this book is selling for? So we can see that actually this book has been well over $100 for a good part of the year. It's been a little bit lower than that as well, but this is definitely a great pickup. And even though that book has a lot of writing in it, this is something that I'm still going to buy because I'm just going to list it in acceptable condition. Say it has a lot of notes already written in it, a lot of highlighting, and I'll, I'll list it for a little bit lower price. But our buy cost here is going to be $14.59. Textbook season is actually coming up. You can see that this book definitely has textbook seasonality in August, September. You can see that the price actually went up a little bit. You can actually see down here how the offer count dropped quite a bit. So definitely a lot of people need this during that time of year. So what I'm going to do is probably price it near the shoulder. I would say maybe like $70, $75, I think is what this book could probably sell for during the textbook season. Now, if it were in better condition, it might even go a little bit higher than that. It might even go up to a hundred or even more than that. But that's what I'm going to do with this book. I'm going to go and buy it right now. Now I mentioned, I'm going to show you some other book searches. So let's go ahead and head on to book search number two. I'm going to click here on the save filters, go to book search number two. And this one's just a little bit different. We're looking for books now where Amazon's price is just above 50, but less than 80. Okay. So a couple of books just popped up here. We have the Western civil Civilization's brief, we can see that the eBay price is 33 and we have the inferred lowest offer at 54 there. Okay, so it looks like the Amazon price is also right around 34 as well. If we scroll down to the keeper chart, again, great seasonality on this. This is gonna sell really well during textbook season. Looks like it can get up to about $50, maybe even 50 to 60, depending on where that new third party offers are. So for this book, in order for it to be profitable, you need a little bit more margin in it. So this is something that you'd probably wanna message the seller and say, hey, you know, would you do 20 bucks for this? Even at 20, there might not be enough margin, but we can always use the seller I'm calculated here. We can put $20 in here. Maybe we can go up to, you know, $50. I think pretty reasonably we could sell for that during textbook season. You make a nice $10 profit. And this would be something that would fly off the shelf during textbook season. By the way, if you want to support the channel and you want to use SellerAmp, I have a link down below in the description and you can uh, feel free to get that free trial. All right. So right below this is National Electric Code book. This is another teaching moment here. From experience, I know this is a book that's likely to give counterfeit claims or IP claims. And if you scroll down to the Keepa chart, one indicator of that is when you see in the offer count down here, both in you and new offer count. See how this just drops off a cliff. Basically it went from 56 used offers and 51 new offers all the way down to about only 23 used offers and seven new offers. But notice how it wasn't sort of steady, like a, a decrease in offer count, like as if there was just more demand for the book. It was literally just a drop off a cliff. So I know from experience, some people got hit with an IP complaint. So that's why it's really important to check Keepa. You ever see those large drops in the offer count? That's definitely not a good sign. Now scrolling down here, I see this advanced Dungeons and Dragons book. Looks like maybe we can pick it up for 24 on eBay and maybe flip it for 73. Let's go and take a look. Looks like someone beat us to the chase. It's already sold. So that's a good sign that probably this was a good deal. So let's go ahead and check over here on Amazon. Looks like the lowest use price is 58. Buy box is $61. And if we come down here to the Keepa chart, yeah, this is a book that sells very well. You can see that the lowest use price is hanging out right around like the third. 35 to 45 range. It can even sell for even more than that. We see a sales range drop as high as 77. So this is a book that can definitely sell well. I'm going to click this little uh, buy box use price as well to see where the buy box use prices have been. You can see that some of these buy box prices have been up to $100, which is pretty crazy. That doesn't mean that it's selling at that, but I definitely bet that this book is selling for a little bit more than that lowest use price. All right. So we're over here on book search number three. We're looking for an Amazon price greater than 45. We're looking at eBay best offer enabled, and we're looking at sales rank less than 2 million the category books and the eBay price price has to be less than 25. So the idea here is we're trying to find a book that has some okay value on Amazon, but we can maybe send an offer and get a, a better deal. So this first book, this Titanic book, it looks like potentially we can buy it for 20 bucks on eBay. Not really sure what we're going to be able to sell for on Amazon. So let's take a look. Yeah, this keep a graph is really interesting because notice that Amazon and third party new sellers actually did go out of stock for a short period of time. And it looks like this book actually sold for right around 70 bucks once. Then Amazon came back in stock right around 48. We're seeing the sales rank start to go down a little bit further. So this book is probably going to sell in use condition now that Amazon's back in stock, 20 to $30 range. So, so personally, this is something that I pass on, but look, best offer is enabled. Maybe you could pick this book up for 10, but personally, I'm just going to move on from that one. Okay. This book looks really interesting. The Curious Lore of Precious Stones. So 24 bucks here on eBay, potentially $96 on Amazon. Let's open those listings. 
Okay, so the lowest used price on Amazon is 20, but the buy box is actually 79.95. So definitely an inflated buy box. This is about four times more than the lowest used price. Again, everything goes back down to Keepa. Is this book worth $20 or is it worth 80? Look at the Keepa chart. Basically, the lowest used price is hanging out right around $20. So it's probably worth right around 20 bucks. So again, even though we do see a sales rank drop here at 45, it's probably more realistic to expect that you should sell us for about 25 to 35. All right, scrolling down a little bit more, I see this applied optimal control book. Looks like the inferred lowest offer is about 45. Pick it up for 22 on eBay. Now I went through the Amazon listing and while the eBay price definitely wasn't profitable, look at this. This book has basically gone all the way down to about five bucks when in the past there are sales rank drops as high as 50 bucks. So for a book like this, I'd kind of want to know one, is this something that's held some good value in the past? It definitely has. This book is just super cheap right now. One good thing to notice is that the offer count over time is also very low in the grand scheme of this entire history of this book. Now, the other thing I want to know is how old is this book? So it's been out since 1975. So if it's been out that long, there probably isn't a difference between 2018 and 2023 because, right, I mean, that's like 40, 50, 60 years, right? There's like, that's a long time since this has been published. So let's go and look at the offers. It looks like we have one person at $4 plus $13 shipping. So that's why it was so low is because this person has a really high shipping fee. So it looks like maybe you could pick this up for about $17.75 in acceptable condition. Now, if this was in good condition, this would probably be actually a pretty decent pickup because again, this is a book that historically does sell really well. I mean, it can sell up to 50 or 60 bucks. So if we could pick up a copy for maybe $18 in good condition, I would say probably you could sell this easily for like $49.99, maybe even up to you know, 60 or maybe even more than that, depending on what the buy box offers have been selling at. Uh, right below that, we have this tombstone book. We can pick it up for 20 over on eBay. Looks like it's $49 is going to be the, the lowest price here at Amazon. So if we go over to Amazon, we do see that $45 is the lowest price. It's actually right up against the new prices. And usually that's a good sign that a book holds value if its used price is right up against the new price. Now, again, this is a book that doesn't sell a ton, but it probably definitely sells about once to twice per month on average. And again, this is something that we can submit an offer on. So I probably wouldn't want to be into this book for 20 because there's not enough margin. But if I pick this book up for 10 bucks, I think this would be a steal. Now, I'm not sure if this person's going to want to accept a $5 offer plus $5 shipping, but if we could manage to pick this book up for about $10, I would feel very confident that we could probably sell this book easily for $39.99 which case that would be an awesome $13 profit. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit a $10 offer here. And you know, sometimes they accept it, sometimes they don't, but it's all a numbers game. Now I don't want to belabor the point, but let me just show you some more of the filters that I've been using that I've been successful with. This is my book search number four, which is to look with books that have a Amazon price over 80 bucks sales rank under 2.5 million and looking at eBay price books less than 70 with the best offer enabled. And so the idea here is maybe to find a book that someone listed slightly under Amazon's price, but maybe it's been there for a long time because the price isn't very competitive on eBay. And then maybe you can come in with like an offer that's 50%. And I've been able to snag some books doing that as well. And the last thing I'm gonna show you the book search number five here, which is to look for books on eBay that are less than 25 bucks with an Amazon price greater than 50. Again, sales rank under 2 million. And again, I've been finding books using this method as well. So that's all I got for today. Hope that helped everyone. If you wanna support the channel, the easiest way to do that is use the link below in the description for your free trial of Flipmine. And uh, yeah, join the Discord because we got a lot of people asking great questions in there. Make sure you're checking out the live streams Saturday morning at 6.30 a.m. PST. All right, everyone, have a good one and 